Listen up, Pack Horse family. Y'all listen. I need y'all to listen to me now. Seriously, I need y'all to listen to me. I need y'all to stay tuned for me. Cause I got a few things I want to enlighten you. I want. I got a few things on my chest, on my mind that I need to get out to you. Listen, it's three things in life. Three. That you entitled to, in my opinion, you can add more, huh? One, love, to be loved. Two, your purpose. Three, a freedom of expression, right? So many times, so many times in this life, man, we feel like we can't be ourselves in certain situations. We can't be ourselves in front of certain people. We can't express ourselves how we want to express ourselves in front of certain crowds, in front of certain people. Listen, I know a certain in, 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 in a certain situation where you got a cold switch and you got to do this, you got to do that. That's just what it is. I get it. But you entitled to be who you are from the core of you because you want to be it. Because that's the life that God gave you. This is your true self from the innermost of you. Your authentic self, right? And your authentic self is what people fall in love with, right? It's who that man fall in love with, who that woman fall in love with, who your kids fall in love with. Your authentic self from the pure state. Understand what I'm saying? So, 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 so to be loved, you have to be authentic. You have to be yourself. You can't be nobody else. Understand what I'm saying? And everybody walking this earth deserve to be loved. Understand what I'm saying? Deserve to, deserve to experience love, man. And, and, and love, love is at the center of the universe. When you in love, it does something to your whole life. We all know it. When you in love, you feel different. You act different, right? And it's the same thing when you hurt sometimes. You act different. You react different. You, you do things differently when you hurt. But listen, the freedom of expression, to be loved, too. And three, to find your the purpose. You entitled to your purpose in life, Pack Horse family. Listen, I got to keep hammering this every now and then. Become the purpose man. Do what I'm here for. To help you get closer to your calling in life. Listen, and your purpose, remember this, your purpose brings you peace. Remember this, when you, the loneliness won't really affect you when you got your purpose, right? Because you always got something to refine back to. You always got something to work on. And that's always something to work on is you, yourself. Fine-tuning your gifts, fine-tuning your passions, right? You never know when you're going to run into a new one. You're entitled to your purpose. Don't live this whole life without knowing your purpose, don't live in it without trying to seek your purpose at least. Understand what I'm saying? You got to pray. You got to ask for this thing. You got to ask God what he want from you. Understand? You got to ask God what your gifts is. And then you got to, you got to, you got to, you got to, you got to be willing to go out there and, and do the work to put in to find it. Prayer, meditation. Understand what I'm saying? Pack horse fella, but I just want y'all to know that you're entitled to these things. You're entitled to your purpose. You're entitled to be loved. You're entitled to, to your freedom of expression. Understand what I'm saying? You entitled to these things. So go on out there and find them. Go on out there and find them. Listen. Listen, and I want you to know this. I want you to know this. You've been putting in a lot of work your whole life. You've been putting a lot of work in your whole life. And when you go to these jobs and when you go into somewhere, you entitled to a break after so many hours worked. Listen, how many of y'all, just think about this. How many of y'all life really had a break in life? How many of you really had a good time to enjoy a break in your life? I'm talking about a full-fledged sense of enjoyment in your life. How many of y'all experienced that? How many of us experienced a real break? Take the time to think about it. Look, I'm going to tell you this. Whatever that break looked like for you, and I ain't mean to just you get a break at your job. I know you get them. I'm talking about a break from your day-to-day -day life. A break where you may have took a vacation and you truly enjoyed the vacation. A time when you just sat back and you appreciated the sm whatever you needed to appreciate in life and you just appreciate. You really took a break. You took a break from your worries. You took a break from your concerns. You took a break from the, hey, you may have took a break from your family, from your friends. Understand what I'm saying? You took a break. I said, look, I got I to gotta detach for a minute. I just need a little me time. Listen. Understand this, Pack Horse family, and I'm going to get out your way. I want y'all to know this. I don't know when your break coming. I don't know how your break is going to look for you. But I want you to know your break going to come. I want you to know your break is coming. Your break from your situation, your break from anything you need, that break is coming. You've been working long enough. You've been laboring long enough. That break coming for you. And you go enjoy it, right? That break. Some change go get broke, Pack Horse family. Your time is coming. Listen, peace, success, prosperity.
until I'm done. That's going to be the message. Peace out, y'all.